What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and uh, yes, yes, if you're wondering, flannels are on their way. This color though, I'm not sure yet, but regardless, we do have flannels on their way for DDG number five that all of you are extremely excited about from the last upload that I briefly mentioned flannels were coming. I got like an overwhelming amount of direct messages, Facebook messages, and emails all saying that you can't wait all with your contribution on color. Not sure what we're gonna do yet, but they will be coming and, and they're pretty nice. It's, it's actually kind of a little bit warm out still, but I like to try before we actually decide Side to put these up on the site because I want to make sure they're worthwhile. I want to make sure the fit and finish is nice, if you know what I'm saying. There's a box right over here, right there, that came in for that truck, but I can't actually show you what they are yet because it's going to be for another video. What I can say is that it's going to be something that's going to help a lot of people that were looking for a specific feature on the 2020 that uh, wasn't offered from the factory. And yes, it might, it might be another first. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. But today, as a matter of fact, we're actually going to be ditching. Oh my God. God, look at that guy. I just spotted him from a mile away. Man, he is plump. Eating good in the neighborhood, my friend. Yeah, you keep eating them mosquitoes. They don't keep eating me. Today, as a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, per the title and thumbnail, we are going to pick up our good friend, Super Duty Sam, that we haven't had on the vlog all that much because he's been down to Peach Bottom Babysitters basically getting a complete refresh on his attitude, if you know what I'm saying. So, we are gonna be jumping in that truck because, well, that truck has furniture in it, but that was completely unrelated to the reason why we're taking that truck is that truck's not gonna be coming home with us today. And before we get going guys yep the lml is no longer here in the driveway right there we'll never have that truck back in it it is safe and sound down in perkins south carolina with its new owner amy hall and chad hall her husband that came up to pick it up with her i'm still feeling the energy and the positivity and the excitement of that day and they've been posting like crazy on their instagram lm eleanor i wanted to say lml eleanor but it was kind of cool because i saw a few comments from you guys saying that the lml never had a name and i was thinking of what i would name it being that it was going to be leaving my possession soon and it kind of worked out in the sense that Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds, that's the reference, was suggested by Chad and then LM Eleanor was the name. So if you guys haven't followed Amy and Chad along with the second chapter of life for the LML, I'm going to go ahead and put their information right here. It's LM underscore Eleanor 2015 on Instagram if you want to stay tuned with the OG that started it all. I'm going to miss it forever, but I will live vicariously through now their ownership with the truck. Ah, oh, that spider. Cold start. Prepare yourself, little buddy. He's completely unfazed. I wonder why. I wonder why. Hate to do it to you, dude, but no free rides in life. I don't know, I feel bad. What should I do? Come on, little buddy, live on. Damn, look at him go. It's not a small spider by any means. You do your thing, dude. I'm gonna let you live today, but if I see you again, that's gonna be your future. Animal activists, arachnophobia activists. Arachnid activists. I got you. Now before we head on down to see Super Duty Sam reassembled and repainted for the first time, which uh, which I'm really looking forward to, honestly. Paint match just makes a world of difference with the total vehicle's composition. We have to stop over at Limer's real quick because Jamie just pulled the mirrors off of his Cummins so I can take them down so Sean can give him a little bit of treatment, if you know what I'm saying. It's crazy this time of year, boys. All the farmers are harvesting their crop. It's like you go from not being able to see anything driving around to being able to see everything driving around in literally a matter of a day. It's kind of crazy. Before we know it, it's going to be freezing ace outside. But, but luckily, we're going to have some nice warm flannels. You know what I'm saying? Two 2020s in one spot? Oh my god, save the views for somebody else, please. There they are. I'm stealing them. Don't tell Jamie. I think he'll be happy that I'm stealing them, though. <laughs> Hello. Look at that flannel, boys. A Titan XD Cummins. It looks like it has an exhaust on it. Interesting. This Ford has swine flu. Alright, boys and girls, we are ready to rock and roll. you guys you do great work the greatest work and now the big question is what are your thoughts i personally love it so much before the chrome was just too much now the chrome is 
just right. I feel like chrome is one of those characteristics that can quickly create gaudiness, but if leveraged the right way, it does exactly what you want it to do to complement and contrast paint match on a truck. And that, in my opinion, is exactly that. I'm biased, I'm biased, I'm biased. I'm totally, I'm, to I'm totally biased. But I wanna know what you guys are thinking right now. If you drop your comments below, go back and edit them. Cause I wanna know your final afterthoughts after the reveal. We're color match baby and we are looking so good. Now I know it's a little awkward without the headlights. You're just gonna have to imagine what we're going to be putting there. Use your imagination. They're gonna be kind of stock, but kind of not. We're also gonna be doing something with the fog lights. The bumper is only held in with the two four front bolts right now, two on either side. The two back bolts have not been put in yet because we will be taking this truck apart in another video. But let's start from the top, literally from the top. So our boys at Recon came through with a set of tinted cab lights for this truck. We ditched the orange lighting all around this truck except for the turn signals right now, but they will be ditched. So those are LED, white LED, tinted cab lights that have been paint matched. I'm sure you saw it in the reveal, but I will just get up close and personal with them right now so you guys can check it out. And they look stunning. So you can kind of see the white light shining through a little bit, a little challenging because of the glare, but we had these masked off with a quarter inch of painter's tape on each one and then painted the entire thing. So they matched the truck. Oh my God, first time ever having painted lights. Yes, boys, we are stepping out of our comfort zone with lighting on this truck. And then to step to the outside here, we have all of the black plastic paint to match, full power extend and retract and folding cable ability still left the chrome caps as a small accent and then we have the go recon which sean actually left in right there just so you can see that they are in fact name brand tinted mirror lights that again were taped off and painted over the bottom ones are the running light the top one are the turn signals and they are white leds they just look i mean absolutely amazing like i said just kind of take it in and embrace just how pure these are right now you know of course there's a lot of clear coat on here so they will be protected but uh just to the touch it's like baby smooth I love it. Coming over here to the badge, this was actually taken apart. Kind of hard to tell because of the nature of this color. It's very distracting. There's a lot going on, but this was all paint matched. Everything in here is paint matched as well. Small little details. I was just totally flipping you guys off, but y'all know I love you. I didn't mean that. Coming around to the front of the truck, the whole front bumper was sandblasted to get the chrome off and the back was blasted. So the back was all painted black and the front is all paint to match. We wanted to play a little bit of chrome accent in the front. And I thought to myself, that the perfect amount would be the tow hooks, what I call the parentheses that go on either side, and then of course the chrome that goes around the front emblem. The big blue Ford front emblem did not fit on this truck, so we decided to take that all apart, get that all paint matched, and I mean let's just let's just embrace the nature of that right there. It's kind of a novelty item because you don't see that done often. We got the whole grill surround done, this big rectangular piece, and then the two cross members have been painted as well and it just overall pulls together the look. Oh man, so beautifully, boys, so beautifully. And then if we uh, we take a walk over to the side here, just a small little touch, we did paint the keypad entry here, so that is all paint to match. Nice little characteristic. Ooh, boys, I feel like I'm a salesman right now, but I need to sell it. Not even that I need to sell it, it kind of sells itself. And then of course we do have the back bumper that has been paint to match, looks amazing. And the back rear emblem paint to match as well absolutely flawless. So now we do still have the existing red lights on the back and the third brake light, but those will all be replaced in another video as well. I'm continually impressed by how smart you guys are because some of my references can be very vague. Custom headlights, taillights, and third brake light are being built from a company out of Florida. And a lot of you had actually messaged me and you were spot on the bullseye with who that person is or who that company is, I should say. They do outstanding work. I'm not gonna reveal them yes, just yet because I know you guys are gonna like flock to their Instagram and see what they look like. I wanna build a little bit of hype behind them to surprise you guys with the way that we went I can say that they very much do kind of mirror this OEM plus look, but they are very much aftermarket at the same time. And I feel like that is a very challenging line to walk. It's a very gray area that can quickly go to black or white, but I think you're gonna love what's in store. So I am just absolutely blown away with how much the paint matching did on this truck. And uh, now I can say, yes, I absolutely love driving this Ford. Before I loved it too, but now I can say I'm absolutely obsessed and infatuated with it. And I'm honestly, just blown away by how much quality the guys at Peach Bottom honestly put into their work. It's the little steps that they took to make sure that everything was perfect. I mean, I'll tell you what, like right there, if it was a crappy paint job, you would know because you'd be able to see the contrast between the flake. You can see it's quite literally 
spot on. I mean, it's perfect. It's almost so good that I just want to continue to look at it and not even drive it. No how to be a YouTuber segment this time around, but you can you can kind of see how it all came together. You can see, you can see. Seriously though, guys, I'm like blown away by this. I'm just over here like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful when you just look at this paint. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The smoothness is real. And I don't even know if the flannel was a good idea, by the way, today, because now it's like really, really hot outside. But, but it's good, but it's good. It's, 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 going, it's going well. <laughs> All right, guys, with that said, uh, we are going to leave the Denali. So say goodbye to this for a little while. We will be doing an update video as this truck comes apart. I do want to try and get down here to see what these mirrors look like disassembled. They've got motors in the base. They've got motors in the arm. And, well, it's going to be kind of interesting to see this mirror come apart. If there's any spoiler alert there, yes, the mirrors are going to be coming off this truck. But I'm really happy that we could get this truck in as soon as we can. And this is kind of what the plan was as, well, I knew that I'd have to pick this thing up eventually. And rather than just picking it up, with this truck and then bringing it home what better way than just to well, leave it down here and let sean do his thing do what he does best if you guys haven't followed peachy cummins yet on instagram go ahead and do something to put his instagram right here you guys just got him up past 2,000 subscribers or wait is it followers followers on instagram he really appreciates it when i got here today he was like yo jack your subscribers got me past 2,000 you showed me on instagram so that was pretty cool and of course peach bottom auto body is in the description below if you guys need anything paint matched or even any accidents that you hopefully never get in but if god forbid somebody else gets you involved in one or whatever the case might be these guys are the way to go baby girl it's been real. I'm going to miss you, but we won't be gone for too long. And well, you're going to look damn good when we get you back. So hopefully uh, these mock turn signals work for the drive home. Super duty, Sam. It has been a minute, buddy. How are we doing? How are we doing? We missed you here. Say goodbye to your big brother. It's all good, buddy. It's all good. He'll be in safekeeping. Don't you stress. Don't you stress. And he's going to look damn good when we get him back, but not as good as you. You look amazing. In all seriousness, uh, well, we got to have to work one of these here foreign apparatus. Ah, AC. Now, I haven't even had a moment to actually connect my phone to this truck. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to oh my god 113 text messages Jesus so uh, let's do this real quick here let's go uh settings Bluetooth media player ah look at this boys we're getting there we don't even know what we're doing the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed yes. on your device pair pair all right boys and we're off peach bottom thank you guys again so much and Ali I love you we'll see you soon god, you're just so freaking good looking would you stop it would you would you just stop it all right ladies and gentlemen we are back and uh we made it we made it we're safe we're sound and luckily we traveled all the way through mexico uh, through Canada, through Argentina, then back around, and we happened to land right here. It happened to work out really well. It was perfect. And, uh, you know, our little improvising scenario turn signal thing worked really well. I'm actually going to be leaving the truck here tonight, and I'm going to be getting a ride home because, well, kind of doesn't really make sense to take it home at this point in time. And we will actually be back in the next video because we've got some parts that are going to be arriving for old Super Duty Sam. Yes, yes, we have some parts, and, uh, well, it could be, it could be, it could be stuff and things. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be awesome so this is where he's gonna rest for the evening and i will well see him very soon and in the next video with all of you guys it's gonna be awesome i do kind of feel like a little part of me is missing being that the denali is down at sean's but uh we'll be doing update videos there as well so i can keep you guys updated i'm curious to see how those mirrors come apart and everything else but we'll save that for another day that's so nice. So with that being said, be on the lookout for DDG number five. That announcement is coming soon. We, we these, these are nice. I got kind of hot today. Just to let you guys know, if you're curious, yeah, it did get a little bit warm. But uh, you know what I discovered? It's even got the little straps if you want to roll your sleeves up. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. These are nice. <laughs> but in all seriousness, thanks for watching, guys. My like, we love you guys. Do you the best. Tap that subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you all in the next up. I'm not asking you to change a thing I'm just trying to catch a wave with you Before we get in way too deep You don't have to run away